So I've finally gotten around to ordering a red light therapy panel direct from China. This was through the Alibaba website. It was quite an experience. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about that experience, the process of getting this panel here. And of course, I'm gonna open it up, have a play with it, test it using my spectrometer, EMF meter, all that stuff. See how well they actually perform and um, see whether you should also go down this route or just pay a little bit extra and uh, get it from a local supplier instead. Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, I have my first red light therapy panel that has arrived direct from China. Though a lot of panels come direct from China, it's just that this one was ordered through a Chinese company. Uh, instead of your mitre reds based in the, uh, the US and your juves and your red light rising based in the UK and stuff like that. This was ordered through Alibaba. Pretty much it's straight from the manufacturer. I, I bypassed the middleman. Now a lot of people have been asking me to do this or at least a lot of people have asked me for my thoughts on the panels you get direct from the manufacturer. I haven't really been able to answer because I've never tested them and I've never used one. So in this video, I'm gonna open this box up. We're gonna have a look at, look at it all. I'm also gonna share my experience with ordering this panel, which it was an experience, um, the costs associated with it. Uh, and then of course, we're gonna test it. I've got my spectrometer here, my EMF meters lying around. I will do all the, the usual testing and um, hopefully be able to provide some insights on whether you as a consumer customer should also go down this path or you should just pay the premium, I guess you'd call it, and uh, go through a company such as, you know, Juve or Mitered or Platinum or whoever else it may be that you're considering. Okay, so yes, I ordered this through Alibaba. Now, I had an Alibaba account, uh, I set it up a while ago uh, through another company, so that was easy. I already had the account there, it had done some trades in the past, so I had the verification and whatnot. If you're going in as an end consumer, I don't know if you'll be able to get an Alibaba account easily. You may have to go to AliExpress. I was a little bit confused about it all. I believe AliExpress is more for the consumer and Alibaba is more for the business, business to business sale. So maybe this isn't a true fair representation of what average Joe could do, but hey, this is, this is just the way it worked out for me. Uh, and I'll tell you now, I hated the experience. I absolutely hated it. And I, I've hated Alibaba the experience with Alibaba in the past. Um, honestly, it's just, it does my head in. I have problems just logging into the website. I don't know, where, like, whether it's my computer, but I have to use different computers. I It, it drives me nuts, like, seriously. And then the two-factor verification doesn't work, and this is part of the reason. That step alone is part of the reason it's taken me so long to do this, just getting into Alibaba. Once you're in there, you're just bombarded with offers and products, and, and it's, it's crazy. It, Again, it's not a nice experience, okay? Now, if I knew, all right, I just wanted to buy from this company, you know, maybe you'd watch another review or someone else has done this and they said, hey, just go get Panel X from company A, you know, it might streamline it all. But for me, I just went in, when I was finally in there, it was like, okay, well, what do I buy? Like there are so many different options, so many different companies, everything's, yeah, as soon as you express interest in one, you start getting emails, uh, I was getting phone calls, from China, it was like, I pick up the phone, who's this? And it was, I could hardly understand them. It was, it was, yeah, it's, it's just, it's pretty full on, okay? AliExpress may be a little bit less intensive because obviously Alibaba, they're trying to get a business deal going and you know, you'll know you order a ton of them, which is what a lot of companies are doing, right? In the red light therapy space. They're literally going out there, finding a company, finding a product, finding a company, packaging it up in their, in their um, branding, if they even do that, some companies don't even do that, and then on selling them. That's, that's what a lot of companies do. So now, I can tell you right now, before I even test the panel and stuff, that that experience that I was just talking about, like that was alone, that alone was enough, is enough for me to never do that again and just pay someone else to do all that. I swear to God, like I would rather, if let's say this panel was $400, right? But then there was another company, you know, red light, panels.com or whatever they, they come up with. If there was another company buying these at wholesale and selling it for $500 and I got to deal with an American or English speaking customer care rep and everything was done in a Western way that we're used to, uh, they, you know, they used the Shopify website and you could use your credit card and you knew the warranty was like two, three years, whatever. I would pay that $100 premium 
to, to go down that path. That's how much of a headache this was, okay? And it's not just this one particular panel and this one particular product. Remember, I have experience with this in the past and in prior ventures, and I, I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. That's just, that's just me getting started. The second thing is, in terms of finding the right company, there's just so many out there, and they all say they're the best, and it's all like, I mean, I mean that's true for any product these days, right? It's especially in the red light therapy space. But I, I, in the end, I literally just randomly chose one. I was like, this is crazy. I just want to do one for a video. I don't actually care too much about the panel. I don't expect to be using it. I've got so many other panels I can use. I just want to get one, test it, see how the process goes and talk about it. Uh, so I just randomly picked one. Now, the company I chose, the company is called I Do Dash Light Lighting. But I've noticed they've also got a red light website in their signature and that is redlighttherapymachines.com and then underneath that they've got 10 years factory for red light therapy beauty machine. That's what it says and they're based in Shenzhen, China. They've got their WhatsApp number, telephone number and all that here. Okay, And I dealt with a, a, a woman called Tina. Again, just by chance I chose them. I know there's heaps of them out there. I know some other people have actually you know, said, look, if you're going to get one, get it from this company and stuff. I, I was looking for escrow because people have said they're really good. I couldn't find it. I, again, it's, it just wasn't fun, that process. When it came to cost, they, I didn't even know how much it was to start with. And then they, I said, look, what is the price? They said, oh, we can do, we've got a big sale going on and we can send you a sample rate. Again, I think they were hoping to get ongoing sales with me and I said, I just want one. I just want one panel. Anyway, they came back with a price of 270 US dollars. Now that's for a 300 LED panel. I, I should, I'll get this open soon and we'll be able to look at it, which is actually really, really good price. I mean, that's super good. However, then they added on the shipping and it was $185 shipping. So the total price was 455, which is starting to get, you know, okay, well that's, it's still cheap for this size panel. When you factor in the other issues, it's maybe not as cheap, right? Then when it arrived in New Zealand, uh, I had to pay customs and import duties a couple hundred bucks. That applies to most panels anyway, but you know, it does, it does all start adding up. Yeah, the whole process was quite time consuming and I should also mention, it wasn't your typical buy a product, turns up in the mail, here's an automated email, if you need help, let us know. This was me being bombarded from the company with phone calls and emails. Like I said, I've got eight pages of emails here. Updates, it was, it was a little bit annoying. I, I tried to place this order just before a weekend and then I went away for the weekend and I had all of these emails coming through while I was away. I was like, this is insane. Then my phone started going. Once I realized it was them, I said, look, please don't call, just email me. And it was just boom, boom, boom all the time. And I, yeah, I mean, if this is any other product, I would have just walked away. But because I wanted to go through with this, I was like, look, let's just do it. So, so anyway, look, I guess on the upside, if you want, if you have questions or like, you, you, at least you didn't care, right? I know some other people complain about companies where they can't even get a hold of people. So I guess you could spin it around as a, uh, as, as a good thing. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and see whether that experience and that process was worth it. Remember, the price is already a lot better than the competitors. Before we look at the panel, which is quite unique, it's actually different to most of the panels I've looked at, so that's cool. Uh, let's look at the accessories. We've got a local cord here uh, with a New Zealand plug. Looks like it's a reasonably shorter cord, but not end of the world. We've got some eye goggles here in a little case. We've got metal hanging hooks that go on the top. We've got a door hanging hook. And we've got the pulley cable system, just the smaller version. So that's everything from the accessory point of view. Now, I don't see any manual. And this is the panel. So it is a big one, 300 LEDs. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it on screen, but the LEDs have that protruding little lens. Uh, we've seen that before in the red light rising panels. Three fans on the back. There's no real branding or anything. Uh, there's some very small rubber feet on the back. They're only like half an inch, if that. Power points on the top, as well as the power switch, which is what we saw in some very old red light therapy panels, like the older generation ones. It's not really nice having them up there. And then we've got the control panel on the side here. Now this is all quite a unique design. I haven't actually seen this design before uh, with the, you know, with this setup and even with this control panel here. So um, 
that is kind of interesting. Okay, so I've got the panel sitting on a little table here. As you can see, the cable coming out the top is quite ugly, right? Otherwise, I mean, it looks like a regular panel. There's nothing super crazy about it. It's ni nice and wide. Uh, I guess it'd be similar in size to a Biomax 900. What we're gonna do now is fire it up and see how it looks when it's running. Cool, well, it works, so that's a good, so good start. Uh, there were two buttons on the side for red and there for red. We'll, we'll have a look at the control panel shortly. It sounds like a red light therapy should sound like. Reasonably bright, pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now is grab my spectrometer, do some testing, and I'll come back with some numbers. Now I have all the data. Well, let's start from the top. It's only got 660 nanometer light and your 850 nanometer light. There's no multi-wave uh, LEDs in here, so it's just the basics. I knew that when I placed the order, there, were, well, there was an option to get uh, a more expensive one with a few more wavelengths, but I thought, look, we'll just stick to the basics for now, and that does keep the cost down. Uh, the peak power I tested was 65 milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches, which is which is pretty good. That's respectable. Uh, to put that in perspective, what do we got here? The Mito Red uh, Mito Pro was 88. Um, the new Infrared Flex was 85. Biomax was 93. So, yeah, I mean compared to those numbers, it's it's not quite amazing, but when you compare it to like the Juve, which was 74, uh, Red Light Rising, 65, you know, uh, the Cyto LED, uh, 65 as well, so it's on par with them. The average over nine, where I take nine readings and average it out, that was 45 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which compared to the Infrared Flex, the new Infrared Flex was, um, they had 67, the Mito Red, Mito Pro was 76, uh, some of those other companies, Cyto LED with 54, uh, the Rug Pro 55. So it's not too bad at 45, like you're gonna get a decent amount of therapeutic red light from this panel. Uh, these are all six inch readings, by the way. Uh, it's probably back where like the second gen panels were uh, in terms of power output, though we're still seeing some panels on the market that are putting out similar numbers. So that's fine. Uh, I was getting great results from a first gen panel like years ago. So no issues on the power front. I did check, it is putting out 660 and 850 nanometers. There's no issues there as well. So you know you're getting what you paid for. Uh, there is no flicker, which is great. And the sound was quite good as well, only 52.5. Typically any, anything under 50 for a panel of this size is awesome. Uh, so 52 is not too bad. Now, uh, the total wattage output was 95 watts. Again, it's not too bad. Uh, a 300 LED panel such as the Mito Red Mito Pro, that came out to be 136 watts. That's one of the best panels on the market. So, you know, 30% less uh, than that. But when you compare it to a, a panel that's only got say 200 LEDs, this is doing on par with that. Uh, remember the price of this panel was only 270 US dollars but then I paid a lot for shipping. So it worked out to be $455 for shipping. Again, I don't know if that's the price you'll be able to get because they told me they had a big order of this panel going through. And if I ordered it paid by a certain date, they could get an extra unit in and it would keep the price down. Uh, and they had a sale going on. And I don't know if that happens to everyone or if it was just like, hey, look, they thought, well, we could do a good deal here and, and Alex may come back for more. I, I don't know, but you could say to them, hey, look, Alex got his one for, um, this price can you match it so see how you go but that is really good price because I mean you put that in perspective with say the Mito Red Mito Pro which is a thousand dollars uh one of the cheapest panels I ever tested I'm just looking at my list here the Red Therapy Red Rush was seven hundred and fifty dollars that was an older panel now I mean they're typically all around that eight nine hundred dollar mark so it is it is on the cheap side but we'll do a in-depth comparison soon now if you calculate the dollar per watt figure using the 95 watts and the 450 dollar price I use the ship price because a lot of companies do free shipping because they're sort of working that that the shipping price into their overall cost, right? The fact that the shipping costs nearly the same amount as the panel, I think it's um, best to incorporate that in because chances are you'll be paying the same, if not more, to get it shipped to you in the States or wherever you are in the world. So I've used that price. Anyway, the dollar per watt figure came out to be $4.70, which is, extraordinary low like usually um the good panels around eight or nine dollars so it is saying like you're getting really good value here exceptional value in terms of red light 
for, for what you pay, you're getting a good amount of red light, which is awesome. Again, it's just whether you want to go th jump through all those hurdles, set up an account, speak to someone in, in China and, and yeah, have those headaches that I had many of. But hey, if you do all that, you're going to get something that works. Okay, so what about operation? Well, let's come in and have a look at the control panel and I'll, um, I'll show you how it works. So once it's plugged in, there's a big switch on the top that um, drives power to this control panel. Then you've simply got uh, up and down. So you can change the timer all the way up to an hour, which is kind of neat. They're in five minute blocks. And then to turn it on, you just simply hit red and the infrared. So if I hit the infrared, the fans start running, the timer starts counting down, and you'll see a little orange light down there saying that the near infrared's going. I can feel the heat, hit red, and then the red lights work. And that's it. It's, it's actually very, very basic. Some may even say that's too basic, uh, but remember a few years ago to get a panel that had a built-in timer was like a big feature. Uh, nowadays we've got you know, the Biomax with touchscreen panels and we've got apps and we've got remotes. This just does the basics very, very basically, but hey, uh, at the end of the day, you're gonna get your red light and you're gonna get a timer. So really all you need. Now, before I wrap up, I just need to mention the support and warranty side of things. Now, I don't know what their return policy is. If you have a problem, yeah, you're gonna to have to be dealing with someone in China. It's probably gonna be more headaches and more issues. Uh, I don't know how long their warranty is as well. I couldn't, I didn't get it out of them. Um, I think they said one year, maybe two years but um, it, it may vary and again, it's kind of one of those things where you're taking a big risk, okay? Like if there are problems, if it turns up and it doesn't work, I'd much rather deal with a company that speaks good English and is based in my own country or you know a Western country. That's just me. Some people are gonna be happy to take the gamble, save that money, jump through some hoops to get it here and just take that risk. Remember this box, the, the panel didn't even have an instruction manual in the box. Not that you really need it, but if you're first time into red light therapy or you're buying this as a gift, you may want to tell them how it works and how to use it because otherwise someone could go on, set it on for an hour and use it for an hour. And yeah, that's not really what you're meant to do with red light. So based on my experiences and based on the data we've just seen, it's not necessarily a bad idea to go straight to China and cut out the middleman. You're just taking risks. Now, I personally am someone who is happy paying like that premium for for like express checkout when it comes to tra traveling or um, you know a few extra dollars to get a, a better service. I, I I see the value in that because I know it streamlines my life. It it removes stresses and headaches and delays. So I personally am someone who who likes doing that. All right. Now I for for that exact reason I would much rather spend a couple hundred dollars extra and buy a similar, well, in this case, maybe a better panel than this that has a few more bells and whistles, that comes nicely boxed, that comes with an instruction manual, that comes with a, a phone number I can call and get someone who's speaking English fluently on the other end. Uh, I, I'd rather pay that money. And also I'd rather spend that money on a company that's been around for a while uh, and not potentially going to rip me off because there's always that risk. I know Alibaba have a lot of checks and balances and insurance assurance programs and if you're paying through PayPal you get all that protection as well but you're still taking a bit of a gamble here and I know that could apply for a Shopify Western company as well but it's not going to happen with Juve or your Mitoreds or your Platinums, right? These guys have been around for, you know, decades between them. Uh, sure, we see new red light therapy companies popping up and I could very easily set up a company. I could have ordered a whole uh, container load of these, got them to put my little logo on the side, set up a website, pushed it out there and I could be flogging these off. And in fact, I know a lot of people do do that. And what happens if... I find out that all of those panels had a defect and after two days of use, they, they stopped working. I then have to you know, deal with that. And that, what I'm saying is that could be the case for a new startup red light therapy company. And it's why I would prefer working with a company or buying from a company that has been around for a long time. And the same thing applies with these Chinese companies where you're skipping, cutting out the middleman. There's risk, okay? Risk and benefit, risk rewards. Yes, you're getting a cheaper product, but there's hurdles, there's risk, there's a chance something will go wrong and you'll be stuck with a dud. Uh, there's all that extra paperwork, which I had to do, emails, headaches, <laughs> lots of headaches. But again, as we've just seen, the panel performs. It's got good power, there's no flicker, no EMF, good sound, 
does what it needs to do. So you're not buying a lemon as such. Uh, and for that price, I mean, if you can get it to your house for four or 500 bucks, like that's a 300 LED full size body panel. It's pretty good. So look, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Would you take the risk? Would you take the plunge? Or are you looking at potentially maybe setting up your own company now? You've seen how, how cheap they are to get direct from China. Yeah, I'm really, really curious to hear what you say. Maybe you're more like me and just be like, hey, look, I'm happy paying that extra to get a good service and a good product. Anyway, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you want me to do any more testing with this, I don't really know what. I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'll leave it running for a few days straight to make sure it doesn't burn out. But if there's anything else you want to know about it, um, I'll put links to the, the, the website I got it from. Otherwise, uh, yeah, love to hear your thoughts, comments. Be sure to subscribe. Check out all my other reviews and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.